Hello team, welcome back to another Line War cast. Here is your map today. Our two players are Dr. No spawning in red and in the top left here. I'm not sure where Solar is going and Solar is the blue player spawning on the right hand side of the map in general. So a lot of islands, it's generally broken down into two big land masses. Solar is on the right hand side and Dr. No is on the left hand side. Solar is going for immediate airport and two barracks. I assume this might be commando drops. It's actually helicopters with three barracks. And presumably Solar's gonna take this gas relatively quick. Dr. No going for triple airport. St probably strikers, here it is, strikers. Triple airport striker from Dr. No. One airport, three barracks, making helicopters for Solar. It's actually, okay, so it is transport planes. It's, it's commando drops here. Which is a really good choice from from blue, because you can the range of this this airport. We can see the red line is where transport planes can go. So really, it gives a good like way for Solar to be able to drop onto this left landmass. Clearly, so Solar might not know that Doctor knows over here, but this is definitely a spot that the commandos could go. It's going to be interesting to see where this transport plane ends up heading off. Because it could give a really good scout for Solar right away. Neither player is going to see where the other one is yet. The vision hasn't got there. First gas from Solar. And Dr. No's making the right play, which is going for a gas and then immediately for a depot. Off of three airports, it's going to be a lot of gas that's needed to keep these planes flying. But it's really a great spot if these three airports can get going and get a sizable striker number there's no real anti-air for for solar and unless this is immediately interceptors which it likely isn't and that's not how you generally want to open up a commando build so the the anti-air for solar is going to be delayed that's that's the thing to watch here three strikers are now done for dr no who's going for a quick farm for some industry and after this next group of three strikers go out, I mean, there could be devastating damage if, if Dr. No is able to start hitting these production buildings and, and, and scouts them to begin with. Solar's going for a uh, quick town. And beginning to cap the right side of the map, same thing for, for Dr. No, who's going for more industry. Dr. No is going to have a tough time a little bit on the economy waiting for all these units to go around the top. It's like one of the of the great things about a commando drop is that Solar's not really, I don't want to say like constrained by the geography of the map, but certainly Dr. No has no other way to cap the left side of the map except to, to send the units around the top. So unless there's a, a dock that's on the way or transitioning into commando drops, Economically, you'd assume Solar might be ahead over time. 332 income for Solar, 366 for Dr. No. There's no there's no barracks for Dr. No as well. So the whole time that these barracks are pumping for Solar, if some of them some of these units start capping, it, like it would be more effective. There's more infantry on the ground. So blue would be able to cap quicker. Six strikers from Dr. No. That quickly scout here. Doesn't see anything. And here come the two transport planes. So let's see the, the defense for Dr. No and how quick this reaction is. The strikers are sent right away, which is a good call. And clearly with six strikers, I mean, it's going to be cleaned up pretty quick. Solar's going to win this fight, potentially. But then... The four commanders are going to get crushed by six strikers. But what it's going to do is... Solar gets this good scout. That there is quick industry. That this is the starting spot for Solar. And off of three strikers, this at least feels like two, two airports. If you're Solar looking at this. Given how quick, quick these units showed up. For, so for Dr. No... Probably knows that Solar's over here now. I mean, clearly like a, a commando dropped here, so the airport would have to be able to get this range if you're blue. 
right? So, I mean, the, the furthest back an airport really could be is, is about here for Solar in order to drop commandos where they were. I like this play from, from Solar to drop the commandos over here at this point. And hopefully start capping, I assume, is, is the plan. Income-wise, 449 for Solar and 460 for Dr. No, who still has an income lead. Here come a whole bunch of strikers. A very quick second guess for Dr. No. I mean, really, there's no other things you can afford, so it makes sense that Dr. No doesn't have any barracks here because three airports is extraordinarily expensive. I'm not sure why these airports aren't building. There's enough money, so maybe these were... The production was stopped on them. With now nine strikers or something, the planes are going to be able to hit this city, or hit this town part of me, and hit it pretty hard. This is very fortuitous, I guess is the word, for Dr. No to see these two commando planes come back. At this point, you kind of know blue dropped in this general direction, so there are commandos somewhere on the map for blue. And here comes the better scout as all these units kind of fly over the the forest and with the the town taken out that is a big loss for solar who continues to go for transport planes and i assume there's one interceptor and maybe more interceptors i mean that would be a great way for solar to be able to begin to counter this but really it's going to be a lot of sams and a lot of interceptors if solar wants to try to go head to head with these these strikers this is a great play from solar to start capping this i mean this is the wild card in the game if solar could get a foothold on this left side of the map while also capping everything on their right side of the map it could be big this is a lot of economy up for grabs in the bottom left two factories for dr no i'd assume these are going to be sam's and they are, if these dots are, and these lines are any indication. And now that Dr. No has been able to scout these buildings, they can target each individual producer. Splitting like this, I guess with the number of strikers that Dr. No has, the planes are going to be able to, to probably take out both of these buildings. There's only going to be two interceptors in the air. And that's not going to be enough. Maybe one plane goes down, but these strikers are going to make quick work of the airport. And the gas, really. Two interceptors are not going to be able to to take this down. As, to take the stri strikers down before they do this, which is take the gas out. And now probably snipe the airport. And this is very devastating. And a great snipe by Red there. Factory for solar on the left-hand side of the map. If the transport planes could continue to reinforce with commandos here, then I guess Solar wouldn't necessarily need a barracks. But a barracks could be huge if it wasn't going to be taken out from like by all these strikers that I assume Dr. No is going to check down here again. Enormous loss for Solar to lose both the commando planes, the transport jets, and the two interceptors, of course. 593 income for blue and 556 for red. So that that income advantage we're talking about because solar is is able to cap more and and has started to cap on the left hand side it makes sense that's that solar is a little bit ahead on the economy even by losing this one town dr no is going to start the trade routes potentially getting this first town with the with the port that is a possibility and now with three full airports. Dr. Nino's going for another industry along the coast. I mean, really, it's a very safe industry to take in general. There's no real way that solar could have a dock here. It is a risk. I mean, boats could, you know, get up to this coastline and actually kill, I think, uh, all of these buildings, potentially. Th this factory might only be able to get hit by cruisers and not other types of boats. But there is obviously no dock for blue, so that's not a big deal. And this mass of strikers, I mean, this is this is the critical mass of strikers that is required to just 
wipe everything very quickly. Dr. No probably is going to look at building an airstrip, I would assume, relatively quick here. Because with this number of strikers, the, the airplane or the airports are actually full. The end, if there's... If the airports are full, they won't continue to make planes. Because there's no room to store them. Two gases and a depot is still enough for Dr. No to run continuous sorties of of strikers who are going to potentially pick up these commandos. There's going to have to be either an interceptor or enough strikers to be able to spot these commandos, but clearly with, you know, about 1,300 more strikers about to show up, these commandos are going to be in a lot of trouble for blue. We're looking at Dr. No's vision. You can see just how uh, poor the detection of strikers is until there's enough of them. The more units there are, the detection effects are cumulative. And so that's the end of those strikers, or those uh, commandos, pardon me, for blue. Solar's going for another airport, which I definitely like, to replace the first one. And Dr. No's getting a good amount of SAMs, which SAMs right now are great for, like, future prepping. But really, when the airports get sniped, there's no real way that there's going to be any planes that are going to be challenging these SAMs. Dr. Knows, at 683 economy, and Solar is at 737. Both players are making good money. So that's not a huge deal. There's two SAMs, a third factory on the way for Solar. And now with five Sams in the forest, but this many strikers on their way, this is going to, like, Dr. No is still going to wipe this. In general, we can see the vision. And here comes the dog from Dr. No. I like this play. On, on a split map like this, boats can be very good. Control the coastline, you can have missile boats everywhere. This is about as good of a trade as this, like, I mean, this is what all you can really ask for if you're blue, is strikers attacking over Sams, but that many strikers. And at this point, all the Sams are gone. So what this allows, like, red has really reset the Sam count. I mean, besides sniping the gas and, and being even more frustrating, I'm sure, for blue, the next time these planes come attack all these buildings, there's going to be very few SAMs. And really, there was only, what, one striker that was lost here? For blue, pumping out SAMs is going to be of the utmost importance. I mean, it's too many, too many strikers. Really, I mean, there's, there's no reason to build anything else except for SAMs, it feels like, at this point. Commando jets again and interceptors. And so there's no longer building commandos out of this or any infantry out of these two barracks, which is kind of okay. But there's still a lot of territory to be capping. I love this bat gas for blue. Very safe. It's definitely out of range of strikers. And with this much of an investment by red into strikers, you kind of know if you're blue that this is the play red is making. So it's going to have to be dependent on getting airstrips in positions that can actually attack further inland. And that won't happen for a long time. I mean, there's no real risk to, to this gas and all the industry that blue could develop here. This is very good for solar to get back on this landmass and start capping. And this time starting more in the south. So all these infantry, it's going to take a while for them to get down to the bottom, and obviously the strikers for, for Dr. No can't get this far south. So here comes the second wave of strikers. This time again, there's only three Sams really in position. It's just not enough. This bottom Sam gets lucky and hits a striker and takes it out. Two interceptors in the air for blue. No more Sams. A second factory likely about to go down. And this is this is very tough. I mean, this is a hard game to come back. In, in some sense, I think, for blue. 
This is definitely the right play to just keep putting down factories, I think, given the bank of blue. Solar's at 900 total economy, and Doctor knows it's 734, so blue's still in the lead. Units lost, though. I assume Dr. No is trading way better than Blue. And and Dr. No is going to start capping this territory and taking it back from Blue, which does two things. It, it gives Red more economy and it takes economy away from Blue. So it has a double effect, kind of. Transport boats for Dr. No and two barracks making commandos. I assume this is going to be a a move across the water, which could be very good, very sneaky, and a, a relatively quick city from red. On this northernmost town. For solar, I'm not sure, they might see this in the fog of war, I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like from this point of view. So as blue, this probably feels very oppressive. It feels like you're in a tough spot, even though blue is, funny enough, making more money. This gas in the north is relatively safe from the three airports, but not from these two airstrips. So if, again, solar, if, if, they had a, if there was a dock, all of this is very... Uh, exposed to the coastline, right? Very close to the coast. The boats can roll up and start attacking this, but there's enough strikers that you're gonna, like, Blue would have to show up with a number of missile boats to not just get wiped by all these strikers. 782 income for Dr. No, 953 for Solar, who continues to reinforce this left side of the map. And I think this is a great play to start building production. Hopefully a barracks with these two factories. Infantry is still ultimately like the best capping units you can get. But I can understand wanting to go to two factories, especially if this is just going to go for like Sam's and Sam's only for blue. Who is on two gas, two airport with a town. Almost got the entire right side of the map locked down. This will be very difficult for Solar to deal with, potentially. There's enough interceptors to be able to track these commandos. Interceptors have excellent detection. But as for things that can actually kill these commandos going across, these two infantry for blue aren't going to be it. That's not going to be enough. And there's not really a ton of units for blue to push this back, especially if Dr. No caps this territory and then starts building industry on it. There's no strikers for blue that could snipe buildings. I mean, there, there are strikers. There's, there's one with a second one on the way, but that's not the numbers needed. Great play from Solar to finally, to continue building these factories and then getting this many Sams. But with this many strikers, Blue still has to be very careful with where those Sams are positioned. And the strikers can provide air support for these commandos all day. Four airstrips for Dr. No, so with three airport, four airstrip build. I mean, if, if Dr. No manages the planes and doesn't lose any of them, it's going to be an unbelievable number of airplanes that Dr. No can field here. Going for another depot. And a fourth gas, which is super necessary. General rule of thumb is that you want one refinery per airport. And airstrips count as an airport in a lot of ways, right? Like it's it's another airport full of planes that you're going to be flying. So Dr. No is keeping on top of the gas. Solar is at almost a thousand income and Dr. No is as well. So this is when the, when the game shifts. That momentum early that solar had between the snipes that the strikers were able to hit on all the buildings and then losing this foothold it's going to be a very tough climb back for solar who puts down a third third factory very happy that there's a barracks if you're if you're solar down here four factories one barracks on that mainland and that's definitely the play because you don't want to let dr no get this entire left side of the map 
if you are blue. Dr. No, ha no has now passed solar and economy at just over a thousand. I, I think I said that wrong. Dr. No passed solar and economy. Red is now fully ahead of blue. Dr. No's going for a town which connects to this this trade route. So the port is on the way for the city. After this town is complete, another port could happen, and then, then the trade route is up. And that is a trade route is worth 10 territories worth of income, which is substantial. If there's enough combined arms for solar here, this could definitely be an army that that could push up this left side of the map all the way to this town potentially the key is going to be blue keeping sams and building sams out of those four factories on the uh, on the left side of the map to be able to defend from these strikers this is a great trade for blue a little bit better there's still such a number of strikers that it's a very precarious situation that blue is in and as long as solar remembers the bring these planes back before they get hit by the Sams, then this is good. I mean, I think that was really the best trade that, that Blue's taken all game, 21 minutes into it. So it's a switch to artillery out of the factories. Solar needs to be careful to not overcommit to only ground army here, I think. There's still not a ton of interceptors and a ton of SAMs for blue to be able to defend these these striker swarms. Dr. No's going for two more airports, so this is going to all be strikers, potentially, presumably. And strikers are one of those units that when you get that critical mass, it's hard to deal with them. Here come four interceptors into the fray. With the SAM support that Dr. No's brought over with this, interceptors are going to have a tough time chasing these strikers down this interceptor gets out which is absolutely wild and maybe a decent trade but it, these these sams are still so good for dr no who's bringing more sams over it's going to be harder and harder for blue to deal with this the the good thing for blue is that there is enough art artillery that's going to push out this this peninsula and really there's four factories here and there's no production on this peninsula yet for Dr. No. So over time, Blue is going to be able to shove this back. With the proper management, this army could still do a lot. Four factories. Hopefully some of them still making SAMs. I mean, there's five SAMs for Solar at this point. By the time Solar steps into range of these airports and, and of the striker support for Red, that's when... Solar's going to want enough SAMs to be able to handle this. But until then, going artillery is, is super fine here. Infantry and commando is doing a great job to protect the artillery. Who can sit in the back and just fire away at the infantry of red. 1049 income for Solar and 1305 for Dr. No. City's complete, which is huge for the income. And when this port goes down, which I assume is any time now, that will like further cement the economic lead that Red has. Two airstrips for Dr. No to provide support to the south, and these are definitely in range of all the producers, so it's going to be 10 planes total that Dr. No has in the south which is could make all the difference this is a great play from red to do a reach around here cut off the supply chain potentially even just go directly at the at the producers wonderful play from solar to use tanks to take out these these sams so that the planes can fly but i mean they're not really the planes aren't really in range of anything over here anyway So pushing the pushing the Sam's back is great because these these interceptors are going to be able to intercept some of these strikers potentially if if Solar's on top of this. This is very annoying though. 
Especially since it's combined arms that Red is, is putting here. Here comes the Striker Swarm. There's no Sams for blue in position, so these Strikers are going to take unbelievably strong trades. And that's... This is the cumulative effect of going through airport and keeping planes alive and building airstrips and keeping the gas to, to run this. This is the, the bonus. And when the interceptors show up and all the units are dead, Dr. No takes, deletes the command and all the planes go home. Very good trade for Red, who is at 1281 income. Blue is at 1121. I mean, props to Solar. They're ca staying in this game. Given all the, the, like the setbacks at the beginning, really, and, and the economy is still pretty close. I mean, Solar could, could definitely still take this game. It's just that Dr. No, if they use these planes effectively, it's a huge advantage for Red. This is about the best thing going on for Solar right now. The Sams are moving with the army. If the set, when units are moving, they do a little bit less damage than if they're stationary. So if Solar just had like a blue dot of Sams that was hanging out in this forest, they might have done a little bit better there, but it is still enough planes from Red that the Sams likely would have been sniped anyway. When Dr. No does this and lands here, it does a few things. And the major thing is that it actually holds up all these units here, because they're gonna have to fight all these red units that land, right? So they can't, the blue units can't just continue to reinforce this push as quickly as, as they could. That being said, there's enough artillery for solar here who may be able to just hit the airports anyway. It'll be interesting to see if these artillery all get cleaned up before they can snipe an airstrip or two. Solar's going for the town in the top right. Still no port from Dr. No on that on this trade route. 11.45 income for Solar and 12.91 for Dr. No and Solar's making a sub pen somewhere. And here it is. I mean, I do like it. It's going to take a while to get those submarines up and into the fight, but it, submarines would be great to, to be able to kill these, these transport boats. Unfortunately for Solar, Dr. No has stopped this attack. And now Dr. No has, I mean, three airstrips on the way, full of planes, and there's not a lot of SAMs. There's there's one, rather, there's three SAMs here for blue. That's not going to be enough to stop three airstrips worth of strikers. I think in general, Solar has two options here, which is to eco up on this part of the map and all the industry here or continue to put more production down but solar doesn't really have the money to do so this is going to be brutal because all these planes are going to snipe those those ground units like let's see this the interceptors in the middle of the map over the water taking out some strikers and maybe a transport boat or two if Solar could jump on these, find and jump on these airstrips, so they're definitely seen, they're definitely spotted, right? So maybe Solar can do so. I mean, there's no range, actually. These planes can even get to these airstrips. It's kind of brutal for Solar, who also doesn't have the money to put down an airstrip to get the planes closer to, to reaching this part of the map. Dr. No goes for the other town on this trade route. This town is actually not connected to this one or the city trade route. This is the trade route it's connected to, and I don't think Dr. No is going to cap that anytime super soon. Income at 1190 for solar and 1291 
for a doctor, no. Two sub pens, I feel like, is a little bit expensive given the situation, but maybe, I mean, it gets the subs out twice as quick, really. So maybe that's worth it. With the planes here, I mean, there's only tr one trans one more transport boat, so the subs might end up being not super useful, since the Air Force of Blue has already done the, the job that the submarines were kind of looking to do, which is stop those transport boats. And this is not good for Blue. Like... It wasn't for a while, but this getting cleaned up, this becomes very tough. Because it becomes infinitely harder now for solar to land on this left side of the map and get a foothold and get production to be able to make a push. And I think Dr. No might have more of the map. So when this happens, I think solar, it's a, it's a very difficult spot to be in. But really, developing the economy is probably what Blue needs to do, because there's no way they're going to be able to cap any more territory that's uncontested. 12.58 income for Dr. No and 1178 for Solar. Neither player has a lot of money on hand. And neither player really has a gas problem. These, these producers are definitely a, not going to live long. Because, I mean, Red is just pushing to the south on all these planes. I mean, they could even, like, th this next sortie of planes is just going to wipe all these buildings. Which is a tough loss for Blue. Building a power plant. I do kind of like this. Obviously, this gas got sniped and I didn't even notice. My apologies. But if that gas isn't safe, I mean, Blue still needs to make sure that they're building building gases, so I like that play from Solar to go for a power plant. These three subs, they're very expensive and they're going to use a lot of gas when they start moving. And if this sortie doesn't kill the, the buildings, then the approaching infantry for Red will. Another, that's a port from Dr. No, here it is. Still no port on this trade route, which is unfortunate because that could be a lot of economy for Dr. No. But I mean, they've gone for a city, so that's 10 territories worth of economy anyway. And really, this is Dr. No's game to lose. 1,300 income for Dr. No and 1,100 for solar. He was going for industry, which is the play. This is good. I mean, there's not really much else that, that Solar can do at this point. Maybe a rocket? But you don't even really want to build a rocket, because they, they... Solar doesn't really know exactly where these, these airports are. Maybe if this was all scouted, a rocket could be a play. I mean, rockets are still very expensive. Solar can kind of afford it, though. They're making 475 a minute. Dr. No's making 300 a minute. And this many interceptors isn't going to be able to deal with this many strikers. Dr. No calls it off anyway. I think, I think really numbers-wise, Dr. No could have just gone for this and still been relatively okay. But this is the more patient way to play this situation. Conserving planes is the name of the game. Repositioning some SAMs here for red. This is a a, a great idea. Two two dots of SAMs are going to be able to, to stop a lot of this from going on. Because these planes might end up rocking to the SAMs. And it's just good defense anyway. I mean, if this airstrip that, that Solar has is within striking distance of these three airstrips... As we see here, I mean, this is the play. I mean, if if Solar could snipe a few of these, that would be huge. There's enough strikers, and they're in the air now. I don't think Blue's going to get the opportunity to, because these in, these Sams are now here. And, I mean, this many planes is also here. 
just in general. And Dr. No still has the gas to do it, burning through 176 gas a minute here. 200, I don't know, it fluctuates between it, but that is a lot of gas. And Dr. No's capped the entire left side of the map at this point. Okay, so those interceptors can take out one striker. Which is good, everything counts. 1581 income for Dr. No and 1124 for Solar, who's getting the submarines in play. I wonder if these are still making subs. Four, five subs is a decent amount of subs. That's a good size, size wolf pack, and they're going to be able to deal with these transport boats. What I'm afraid for blue is when these submarines show up to destroy the transport boats, there's going to be enough strikers that they're going to be able to just click on these subs, and that'll be that. So it's, a, it's an extreme, like a very, very difficult position for blue to be in. It has been for some time. Dr. Knows developing the economy on the south part of the the island here. That's a great play. And further cements that lead. Commando transports from Solar. Maybe they're going to go here. I don't really actually know. I mean, I like the play regardless. Because this is starting to get desperate times for Solar. He was almost 500. I can't do math. About 500 income behind Dr. No, which is enormous. Here come the subs. Dr. No sees it. I mean, there's enough units, buildings that are in range so these subs are actually detected. And let's see, I think I think this many strikers might not be able to kill all the submarines because a lot of these strikers are going to start fighting the SAMs and potentially some of the interceptors in the air for blue. And I uh, totally lied. All the SAMs, or all the submarines, part of me, have been taken out. And two dots of SAMs, it's just still not enough. I mean, it's such, a, such an unbelievable number of strikers. That both the airstrips are likely going to go down here. Or blue. I mean, strikers are taking interceptors out of the air, is what's happening. There's just so many units that they're, they're sniping interceptors. I guess a last ditch thing for solar could be a rocket that hits all of the planes. I mean, the, economically, there's no way that solar can really afford that at the moment. But I'm not really sure el how else solar comes back from this. The factory's making artil artillery, unfortunately, isn't super helpful. It's it's probably taking a lot of upkeep from solar. I wonder if disbanding all that artillery and then making a rocket could help. It's tough to say. It's a very tough position. Power plants for Dr. No, who obviously wants to make sure that all these planes can continue to fly. Two dots of SAMs, I mean, all these planes could just click on here and kill a gas and an airport and all the SAMs. Here's the trade route up for Dr. No now. The container ships are going. This just blasts the economy off for Reddit, almost 1800. Solar's at 1124. Now with all the industry, maybe a, a city could go up. Solar could try to get more of this industry and develop a city, but there's still always going to be one step behind Dr. No's economic advantage here. And very slowly, Dr. No's just going to click on different parts of the map and clear everything of blue from it. How many strikers does it take to kill an airstrip? The answer is about 100. And they do it very quickly. And here comes strikers against interceptors. It's a lot of planes. 
And here comes the invasion off of off of five boats. Five transport boats. Solar doesn't quite see this coming yet. And here comes the first boat into view. And it's two of them. And it's three. The interceptor gets good scouting, has better range on the vision. And this might be the big battle. I assume what's about to happen is Dr. Nose is going to send all the units, all the strikers here to defend the red units that are landing. Dr. Nose actually only had 100 leftover gas, which is funny, and building more power plants, which is definitely needed because there's just so many planes. In case that wasn't already clear. Third city now for Dr. No. This is what Solar's got to do. This is the this is the play. I mean, if if Solar could somehow get all these transport boats down the south, take out this city, establish a foothold again, and defend this push from Red, maybe Solar could do something. But it's, I mean, this is going to end the game right now. It's got to be frustrating if you're to, blue to just watch all these strikers stream in off the screen. Two full Sam dots. Taken out pretty much immediately. I mean, audio effect wise, you can just hear how many munitions are landing from red. And, and this just becomes rinse and repeat. Dr. No can go home. The Sam counts totally reset. And Dr. No could go back at it. And next time it would be more devastating because there's no more Sams to clear out. Interceptor's doing the best job they can to thin out this number of strikers. There is a rocket on the way for solar. Rockets have stealth a little bit. And building stuff in forests take 50% longer for buildings. It's not really going to matter. I don't even think if Solar built it in the open that I would be able to get up in time to be useful in this game. I mean, this is quite the number of units. And enough strikers. I mean, the, the, there's still going to be some commandos here, but luckily for Dr. No, there's a bunch of units that are sort of acting like a garrison for the city. And GG. Well played. Well played from both players. I mean, very, very cool mass striker strat from Dr. No, and I mean, props to Solar to duke it out and continue to try to stay in the game given all the setbacks. Very cool. I would like to thank Dr. No for, for posting this to the Match Replays channel in the Discord. Check out the Limeware Discord if you want to learn more about the game. Talk to other people, watch other replays, ask questions, whatever. I hope you enjoyed us. Have a great night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, whatever it is for you. We'll see you soon. Peace, folks.